Stop! Stop. Freeze! Somewhere in the forest, the enemy is advancing. Stop. Army recruit Zandra Moradi must act. Hands over your head, drop your weapon. Luckily, this was just a drill. Zandra is training to defend her home country, Norway. The 19-year-old is one of Norway's first female military conscripts. Having joined in the summer, she's now stationed in the tundra, north of the Arctic Circle, 1,600 kilometers from her home city of Oslo. But she won't let herself get homesick. Women in uniform are highly respected in Norway, and her family supports what she does. And my mom, she's very proud, and my friends are proud, of course. Everyone's proud of me. So it's good to be here when everyone's proud of me. They're not scared about... My mom is scared, of course, but not my friends. So mom is scared? Yeah. It's always like that. Moms are scared for everything for the children. The first women enlisted in the Norwegian army 40 years ago, but through choice. Norway has now made military service compulsory for women, and they're treated no differently than men. The only thing that surprised me was like the mentality thing. The, all the yelling and screaming and that you don't have a right to do anything. So, yeah, it was only that in the beginning, but now it's very, it's very nice to be here. So you can say a lot more and be friends with the sergeant. So yeah, it's not that hard. Some men still have problems reporting to younger female soldiers. They have to accept the new system, although some of them seem less than enthusiastic. It's nice. I guess um, I've never experienced a problem with it, so um, I'm really happy that uh, it works and it, that it, it is the way it is. Norway's army has only 18,000 soldiers. That's relatively small, but it's still difficult to find enough suitable recruits. That's why more and more women are being drafted. Hi. Hey, do you need anything? No, I don't have anything. No? Okay, have a good shift. Good luck. Good. Tensions are high back at the headquarters. They're performing a drill. The enemy is attacking. But the Norwegians are putting up a strong defense. The Russian border is nearby, which Norway sees as a potential threat. They're concerned about President Putin and his rising opposition to the West. So drafting women is as much about gender equality as it is about reinforcing security. Military service doesn't mean everyone will end up in the barracks, but all 18-year-old Norwegians have to take the Army's examination. The work requires motivation and commitment. And men and women can't mind living side by side in these confined spaces. Uh, well, this is my bed. Uh, I sleep here every day. And um, here's my friend. She's sleeping over here. It's a girl. And over here is like the boys. Boy, 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 and boy. Any problems with the boys? No. They're just like messy. You can see that on the, at the floor. And it's like coke everywhere. And they don't clean up. You see that? That's the only problem. But one out of every five female soldiers has reported being verbally abused by male conscripts. Some have even experienced physical harassment. Though not inside these barracks, Zandra was a little anxious when she first joined. It's not so many of us, but it's many of the boys. So we're more shy, so we don't have so much to say when the boys are together, because they make a man cab. And then <laughs> it's, it's the girls. I think so. I was shy too in the beginning, when I met the, those four boys I live with. I don't really have problems, just some um in differences like lots of hair in the in the sink, or hair in the shower, makeup everywhere, but normal, typical. It's like living with your sister, really. The Norwegian army has to accept this tension between the sexes. Yeah. Having female soldiers can be beneficial in certain countries. 
Yeah. We had situations where we could not use uh, men, uh, male uh, soldiers. We could use female soldiers and uh, of course to get access into the female part of the population in uh, Afghanistan. And that was an advantage for us. For decades, Norway has been carrying out international operations. It sent troops to Afghanistan, Mali and Sudan. The people of Norway support these missions. I really like to do something for Norway and make a change maybe. So yeah, that's why. What kind of change? Save the world, I guess. I don't know, just I, I like being here. It's hard, it's tough and it's, I think it fits me. The army plans to send its female conscripts on future peacekeeping operations. Zandra is ready and willing. The military is where she sees her future.